So Intel comes straight out of left field with a massive flagship CPU coming along with their new Core i9 lineup with their Skylake X architecture. The Core i9 7980XE flagship. We're talking about 18 cores and 36 thread Skylake X CPU. Now this is coming out after all of the Threadripper CPUs with their massive up to 16 cores, 32 threads, and this is this is huge. I mean, this is it's like they go, okay, AMD, you got 16 cores here. We raise you two. Uh, here's our 18 core part. Well, okay. I mean, we knew X299 was going to be a big upgrade over X99, but I honestly didn't see an 18 core part coming. So it's going to be interesting to see kind of where they price this thing. It's going to be, well, I mean, let's be honest, their Broadwell E 10 core part was $1,700. And we're talking about eight more cores on top of uh, what we were getting. So let's take a quick look at the lineup and what we can expect here. So we've got, again, the Core i9-7980XE. That's their flagship 18 core 36, uh, you know, coming out to be the top dog here of the CPUs outside of the server market. So mainstream and um, high-end, well, mainly high-end desktop here in these parts. We're looking at a uh, 25 megabytes of L3 cache and 18 megs of L2 cache with a total of 43 megabytes of cache. Now the TDP we're looking at is higher. It's about 165 watts for this, but in return we'll be looking at some really high clock speeds thanks to Turbo Boost Max 3.0 technology. While it does have full overclocking support and a massive 44 PCIe Gen 3 lanes along with that overclocking support, this should be the highest core count chip we'll be getting this year for any high-end desktop platform. AMD or Intel, or either one. This is the biggest. The other other cores we have, we've got an i9-7960X. That's aimed directly at AMD 16-core Ryzen Threadripper. The i9-7940X, which is 14 cores and 28 threads. Uh, yeah, that's this is crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, and people were saying four cores is enough. So, obviously, even Intel is agreeing that more, 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 more. The Core i9-7920X will be the 12-core, 24-thread CPU with over 4 gigahertz clock speeds. It's going to be insane there. Once we get down to the 12-core, it does drop from 160 watts down to 140-watt TDP. So we do get to see that drop down a bit more. Now the i9-7900X is uh, their new 10-core, 20-thread. And now we're dropping down into the, just the you know average Joe's 8-core parts with the 7820X. So 8-core, 16-thread. Uh, that, that'll be the one replacing the 6900K. From there, we've got the 7800. That's Intel's most affordable 6-core, 12-thread option on the Skylake X family. And that'll be interesting to see where that pricing comes in as well as the performance when compared to something like the 1600 and 1600X. We're talking about a $210 chip and a $250 chip or $220. Anyway, under a $250 6-core, 12-thread part on AMD side or a 6-core, 12-thread uh, Skylake X. And... Not really sure because uh, it was about $430 for the Broadwell E6 core. So if the price drops, it's going to be fun to see what happens there. And then from there, we're turning into the KB Lake versions, which is the 7740X and the 7640X. So those will be uh, KB Lake based uh, quad cores. So and one with and one without hyperthreading. So locked here uh, for more information as we get it, and we'll be more than happy to bring it to you as quickly as we can. Computex is underway, so news will be coming fast and hard, so feel free to subscribe, and we will catch you all in the next video.